Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. I am your host, Evan, and tonight is another exciting cold flow challenge at negative 50 degrees Celsius and cold flow test. Yes, this is going to be a good test. We got our OYWE, O'Reilly's Auto Parts, Cool and Concentrate, Universal, good for pretty much all makes, models, and colors. This is going up against versus our Amsoil Low Toxicity Biodegradable Coolant. This one meets and exceeds the 18 wheeler specifications and also it's low toxicity so it won't hurt the animals the same way the old stuff. Much safer. Let's do the cold flow test. Let's do it. We got our O'Reilly is negative 49 degrees. We got our Amsoil negative 49.6. Here we go. Let's do it. All right, if you enjoyed this cold flow test, definitely give this video a thumbs up. That really helps out the channel, lets people know it's great content. And now we're gonna go ahead and go into some details of how these are very, very different coolants. Let's take a look. Hey, and if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. Now for a quick close up of what these look like in their temp still. And now for our behind the scenes footage, we got our OYWE. This is our universal antifreeze and coolant concentrate for all makes, models, colors. Um, yeah, all over the globe. Japan, China, Canadian cars, France, Germany, uh, full strength. And this is all your percentages right here. That gives you all your ratios to get to a certain temperature. And today we're going to be doing 60%. So I'll give you the up close crack on our OYWE. Got our little seal. Whoop! There we go. So we'll go 60%. Ooh, looks good. It's got a good look to it. Ooh, strong, strong smell. Very strong. Smells pretty strong like most other coolants. And now for our Amsoil. This is the low toxicity biodegradable coolant. And this one right here is the long life formulation. Good for some serious hours and, and, and uh, miles. And what makes this such a big deal is it's low toxicity, so it's not gonna hurt the animals the same way as a lot of other coolant. Um, the uh, Most coolants actually taste sweet to animals and cats and dogs will lick it up. If you have an older radiator, the radiator cracks, your bottle cracks, leaks on the ground, and a dog or cat licks up about a few ounces. Depending on the size of the animal, it can actually kill the animal. And uh, I didn't know this until I talked to a vet and they go, yeah, it's one of the worst things. They go, don't ever, leave that stuff around don't let it go down the drain don't do anything with the railer coolant. so this is stuff i didn't know anything about but now we're fortunate with the amsoil we got the uh, propylene glycol which uh, is such a big deal because not only does it keep your motor from pitting keeps the, the inside jackets inside 18 wheelers the fluid can actually pit the aluminum the metal the cast iron so why this is so great it meets and exceeds all those 18 wheeler specifications. This one is also good for uh, all makes, models, colors, and coolant types. The only one it's not good for is waterless coolant like Evans Cool, but that's a specialty thing for most classic car guys use that, but that's not realistic. So most people all run this coolant. So this is good for all your major brands. And we're gonna be good down to uh, about negative 51C so uh, still a lot of great cold protection and uh, 
yeah, it just gives you a lot of confidence. Now this one, we're not gonna have an up close crack. We did a video with this bottle like the other day. So there's one um, quart out of it, but I haven't added anything to it. So it's still, it's still all almost full. So here we go. Let's do it. Oh, a little flap got in the way. And I also call this the liquid gold on the channel because every vehicle I've ever switched over, I actually notice the car runs smoother afterwards. So we got that, we got that. And uh, yeah, I actually noticed it ran smoother and um, the, the actual motors run quieter. And this will also help protect your gaskets and your seals in your water pump. So if you're concerned about extending the life of that, I highly recommend switching to this. And uh, just to give you a for instance, in my personal car, which is the SL550, the synthetic oil protection machine, I run this at 33% concentrate, 66% distilled water. And here in Las Vegas, it just doesn't get that cold. So at 33%, you are good to about uh, seven to eight degrees Fahrenheit. So out here in Vegas, it might get down to 17 degrees, uh, but you'll see even in the last video with this, uh, you'll see when the coolant, at, even at 50-50 when it freezes, it doesn't freeze quite the way you think it would freeze. So I have a feeling that if it did freeze, I think there'd be enough, enough stretch, hopefully in your hoses and stuff, that it wouldn't you know, crack the block in your car. I wouldn't want to test it, but, um, you know, I always recommend being safer than sorry. So you're better off having more concentrate if you live somewhere cold. You know, I personally know where I'm gonna be with my car. This is my, the SL550, which you'll see all the videos on the synthetic oil protection machine. We do all kinds of stuff on her and we got a whole playlist on her. And now for our Dominator Cooling Boost. This one is a great uh, utility piece, especially if you live somewhere cold, because this actually helps your car warm up to 54% quicker. And uh, this right here is compatible with all your other major uh, coolant colors. So even if you have the OEM coolant in, you can still throw this in right now and it's gonna help your car warm up quicker. It's a tri-tiered surfactant technology that allows the water molecules to get closer to the aluminum. It pulls the heat out of the motor into the coolant. And uh, the coolant has a specific heat capacity of about 0.6, where distilled water has a specific heat capacity of one. So really, you want to have more water, if you can, to pull more heat out, and you want to have a better contact patch by running a surfactant, which the EMS oil is uh, a tri-tiered, so it takes you up through as it's warming up. You got your first tier from your cold, you got your warm second tier, and then you got your hot, which is your third tier. And that's specifically designed to keep you to running cooler at the high end but it allows you to warm up a lot faster with this. So this gets you off idle up quicker, uh, which is gonna save you fuel. It's gonna get you less fuel contamination into your motor oil, because you're not gonna be running rich as long. So the less time you're running rich, the less fuel contamination going in your oil. Big benefit. And uh, now we're gonna go ahead and throw in our distilled water. The reason you always use distilled water is because it has no metal or impurities in it calcium, potassium, magnesium, all these uh, earth metals that are in tap water will actually corrode the metal eventually. And it actually can get frequency issues and all kinds of stuff. It can mess up your water pump. It can crack your rubbers. So keep it distilled water. So now all we do is fill her up to our full one liter. Boom. Close. Close up of what these look like. We got our O'Reilly brand right here. Very foggy looking. And we got our AMS oil. A little bit more clear. And it almost looks like oil. And uh, you'll see how it runs out thicker 
And um, it's interesting, when I switch over to this, I actually notice the vehicles sound a lot quieter and they rev smoother. So that's the benefit that I personally felt on my car when I did my Corvette, C5 Corvette, the SL550, and then of course, the 59 Putty Cat. And we got her cool and change up here in the corner if you wanna see what she looked like when we flushed all her fluid. Hey, and if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. Go ahead and tap this little button and then you're gonna see the notification bell. You're gonna go in here, you're gonna allow it, all the settings in the badge. You're gonna go back and you're gonna click this bell and you'll hit all notifications. That way you'll get a notification when I publish my next video. And now inside the cryogenic freezer we go, negative 50 degrees Celsius. So we're really putting some pressure on these babies. So if you want to try the Emsoil products, you can actually use my link right down in the description section below. If you're on a Schmott phone, you're going to see a little reverse down arrow right here. If you're on a desktop or a laptop, you'll click show more. It's going to open up this whole thing down there and you'll see these products. And when you use my link, I'll get the credit for your order. And then I'll also be your Emsoil guy. So in the future, if you ever had any questions on the products, you can personally uh, contact me and I would be your guy uh, for the products. So this is what I do about 70 hours a week here on YouTube and uh, I love the lube and lube to love. You know, that's one of my my uh, French jokes I came up with. We did a French thing with the Motul. That's coming up. If not, you're going to see it. But my French joke on the channel is lube to love, love to lube. And that's what we do on the channel. I'm a professional you luber and uh, this is what I do. So if you love the channel and you want to help out in any way, I don't do any Patreon or I don't do any GoFundMes or anything like that. Um, I just, I love working and helping people and making people happy. So if you want to uh, help out the channel, just uh, click on my link down below and I'll be your Amsoil dealer. And I can always answer all your questions. You can try the products. Well, I would say go ahead and uh, check out this playlist here. A lot of good antifreeze cold, uh, antifreeze cold flow tests over here. We got lots of coolant changes over here. It's a lot easier than you think to change your coolant. And we will see you back next time right here on Synthetic Oil Protection. Cheers to protection, protection, protection.